Okay, so if you're looking to um, put in an intelligent agent who can do your automatic emailing after if a user hasn't logged in in three days, I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can do that. Um, if you click on edit course here, um, this allows you to see all the settings that are available. And then you're gonna slide down to communication and jump on intelligent agents. So these are computer programs that run on your behalf. Um, and so here you can see I've created one called not signed in, but if you haven't created one, you're just gonna click new. And it's gonna set up this intelligent agent and you're gonna put the parameters on it. So give it a name and this is just gonna be a test one. So I'll just call it test. Um, who do we want? We want it for everyone and we want it to take action when someone hasn't logged in for three days. Okay, um, you can use release conditions as well. So if they haven't logged in for three days, then something else happens. But all we're going to do here is send an email. We just want to make it so just to say, hey, we're checking in to make sure that you are doing okay. And do we want this to happen the first time they skip for three days or every time they skip for three days? So I say every time they've done it, then that's going to happen and they're going to get an email. You're sending this to the initiating user. This is the person who has fulfilled the conditions of the release. Subject, I call mine a quick check-in. Quick check-in, and I'm just gonna say hello. Initiating user first name. This will use the first name of the person who has done this. And I would just recommend saying, hey, uh, I saw, I just wanted to check in and see how you're finding the course course I noticed that you've not signed in in a few days and wanted to offer myself as a resource blah 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 perfect great and you're gonna send that and then you're gonna use a schedule so that it runs every day so you want this agent to look every day and you can have it start date end date whatever um, and I would just make sure you have an end date of the last day of the course or maybe the 30th because you don't need to really run after that and you can click update and that'll run that schedule. Perfect, you click save and close and you are all done. The only other thing you need to know is click on settings and make sure that you set a custom value for this course where your emails come from your name and the reply to address is your at Brightspace email address. And that's that. And you've created an intelligent agent. Hope that helps. All right. Bye-bye.